wanted to do a video today guys on giving and receiving and an open mind and a closed mind. We're going to dive into the book of life for free today. Check this out on Amazon if you already haven't. And everything in life is energy, right? We all vibrate on a vibration and a frequency down to the exact decimals. It's why nature vibrates on 432 hertz and all of life. We were born vibrating on these miracle tones or vibrating on these love frequencies of 432 hertz. There's 528, which is curing DNA and fixing DNA, ancestral problems, curing cancers. And it's because we are energy. Our bodies, the physical realm, is an illusion. This is part of embracing your true self. And the universe operates all through vibration and frequency. It's why when you stare at the back of someone's head long enough, they look back at you. Because your mind is what directs this emotion and this energy. And it's why I talk about stop reacting and start responding like a human being. Take back your emotional stability. Stop allowing other people to emotionally and energetically rape you around every corner when you're driving. Take back your emotional stability. Take back your power, your energy. Even when you die, our bodies still let off a heat signature. When I think about somebody at night before I go to sleep, they text me because our mind is releasing energy, infinite spirit that flows through all of life. Some call it the Holy Spirit. is what we're connected to, and we're the highest form of life. And Albert Einstein, what he really studied was... The science of life, the laws of the universe. There are 12 universal laws. Go watch my video on that. And the laws of the universe all correlate together. That the more we give, the more we're going to receive. And so many insecure people, the sleazy snake salesmen, they all want to fill their pockets, fill their insecurity. But when you truly love yourself, you're able to give through the vibration of love. You are secure. You are fulfilled from within. So you give instead of trying to take and fill and it's like an empty void that will never be filled but when you love yourself you give and you receive and think about this guys like Albert Einstein says we need to be thinking and understanding not knowing and recreating excuse me repeating we need to understand and think for we can create not just know and memorize for we can repeat that's not evolution. So what do we do? And how do you explain this? When we have three souls, right? We have Susie, we have Mike, and we have Michael. <laughs> right? We have Mike, Michael, and Susie. Okay? Well, let's make this more easy for people. We have Mike, we have Tom, and we have Susie. Mike, Tom, and Susie are all giving to the universe, right? Energetically, we have three forms, right? We have three forms of energy that are giving. What is three times three, guys? Right? We have three people giving, right? So what... Mike, Susie, and Tom. How many orders can Mike, Susie, and Tom be repeated? Well, you can put Tom in the front, you can put Susie, and then you can put Mike. You can put Tom, you can put Mike, and then Susie. Tom, Susie, Mike. Mike, Tom, Susie. Mike, Susie, Tom. There's a lot of ways. And energy is no different. This is a science, guys. A science. We have three forms of energy giving to the universe. Well, the universe multiplies this right so now we have nine but we only have three people that just gave so now each person is receiving three back when they only gave one this is how abundance works this is why the universe is able to give so much it's why one of the wealthiest men in America's history was giving more than he was receiving every year. But then the, the, the rain came, the harvest came, and he always brought back 
twice, three times as much as he gave. And then he would give it all back, more than he had. And it would all come back even more. Another one, uh, Tony Robbins. He talks about it all the time. He doesn't go into details like we are right now. But this is what he's saying. He gives so much, but yet he still makes so much in return. When you give through the vibration of love, through gratitude and appreciation, what is the universe going to send back to you? More love and appreciation. If your finances and your service that you're giving humanity is rooted in love, guess what's coming back to you? But it's not coming back in one. It's coming back threefold. Four, five, ten x, twenty x. And out of fear and ignorance, people don't understand how life works. When you water and give a tree nutrients, if three people are contributing to a tree, that tree is going to grow massively. All of these apples and oranges, there's enough apples and oranges for all three of those people. A farmer harvests a crop that can feed the entire city. This is how life works. Three farmers are making a crop. Oh my God, we better get ready. The whole town is going to be fat. This is the science of life. Three people. I talk about it in my book, Find a Partner. I talk about it in my video on teamwork. Find a partner. When I first started my career in business and entrepreneurial work, I was afraid that if I had a partner, that meant m no, no money for me. And then I realized, and I started to see that if I found a partner and went 50-50, they had unique individual talents and gifts and experience. They could contri contribute, and I did too that they couldn't. And together, though, we multiplied and actually individually brought back way more than we had if we were working alone. And these are the rules of the universe. This is how life vibrates and operates. The 12 universal laws. It's why when the stock market goes down a little bit, it goes back up. The law of polarity. The law of correspondence. Don't try hiding, guys, your problems. It's going to show on the outside. The law of inspired action. You ha Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This is all science, guys. Physics is a science for a reason. And an open mind is allowed to evolve and grow. It's not afraid of losing its dogma mask, the ego. That's what the ego is. It's a dogma mask. Quincy Jones says it perfectly, the celebrity. And an ego is an overinflated insecurity. Somebody who's extremely insecure, they have an ego. They don't even understand and truly love themselves, so they're afraid of other people. They don't even know who they are or understand their true self from within. So they build this ego. And this is a closed mind that will suffer and die. I talk about it in my video on religion. I had a family pastor that wanted to grow. I'm not religious, but I offered to do social media marketing for free. I've grown businesses by 1,500%, 2,000% in months through social media. I offered to do it for, to him for free. I told him I'd even pay 20 bucks for an initial ad just to show him. Being very traditional, I think they're a Baptist church, very traditional Japanese elderly man, says no. He cl closed-minded, and no, his church still has not grown to this day. We have to be open-minded. That's what the Creator is, or the universe. It is a super-conscious, the highest, most awakened and aware conscious. And we are created in the Creator's highest image. We are a consciousness. We are a mind, not a body. And the more we understand about life, the more we understand truth, more knowledge, more wisdom, more enlightenment, 
the more aware we become, the more fruits we're going to bear, the more knowledge and enlightenment that you can put in with wisdom, the more you're going to harvest. Judge a tree by the fruit it bears. I'm not condescending these 18 year olds that just graduated high school and want to be self-help gurus. I'm trying to bring back credibility. Credibility while we have thousands of so-called self-help gurus popping up that want to be the next Tony Robbins or want people to like them, whatever it may be, out of insecurity to fill their own pockets, which is why I don't follow two of the original four self-help gurus that I did. And you have to have an open mind, guys, through understanding. I am learning, still learning Hindi right now. I am still wanting to learn the harp. I am still right now practicing yoga. I'm still learning yoga. Go watch Yoga with Adrian, amazing lady. And that's an open and closed mind, guys. This is giving and receiving. And if only we all understood that giving, partnering up, brings back even more abundance. It doesn't close anything off. And you all deserve abundance, guys. Keep an open mind. Keep learning. Keep understanding. Don't live in ignorance or fear. Love your true self from within. Accept where you're at. And then you can evolve and grow. And that's why I make these videos, guys. Because if just one of you guys is able to embrace more of yourself, have more knowledge, more skills and tools to apply to your life. The entire universe and life is evolving. Why would I want to keep all of this experience and knowledge? You know, why not give it out so we can all grow and prosper and harvest together like the farmer who feeds his entire town? God bless you all, or blessings to all of you, whatever it may be, namaste. I wish you all the very best from here. Thank you.